guys, it's your boy Clint with the Mobile Messiah back with some more Guardian Tales content. And today we are going to be talking about a new hero that is suspected to be coming to global very soon in the form of Vishuvac, the Fire Gauntlet user. I know a lot of you have been worried about whether or not is she going to completely take Bari out of the meta. Well, I'm here to talk to you about Vishuvac today and we're going to take a look at her stats and what she's capable of and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts. Without further ado, let's get All right guys, it is time to talk about an exciting upcoming hero for Guardian Tales and a lot of you already have a little bit of information on her but just for all of you guys who have no idea what I'm talking about, we're going to be covering the Flame Gauntlet user Vishuvac. Now essentially, this waifu Heidi is gonna be capable of eliminating Bari, all right? Bari is no longer gonna be an issue for Vishuvac users, but, but, beware, Vishuvac will not become the meta, okay? She will not become the meta, and I'm gonna explain after we do a rundown of her skills and what she's capable of in combat. So first, let's talk about her statistics. She has an attack of 644, which is above average, not by a lot, but that is above average. Her HP is at 19,277, which is slightly above average. Um, it's still in that little average category. I wouldn't really consider it above average until it's 20K. So she's almost there, but either way, she has a nice amount of HP. She's not super squishy. That's what you need to know. Her defense is 149, which is above average. And that means that she is a complete all around type hero. She has no glaring weaknesses as far as her actual statistics go. All right, so she's an all around hero. You don't have to worry about any glass cannon. You don't have to worry about no ability to actually lay any damage on the opponent. She can serve pretty much any purpose you need her to serve, meaning she will instantly be good for most game modes. But the coolest thing about her probably has to be her attacking method she is somewhat of a dragon ball z type of character i guess she is using instant transmission with her attacks okay her basic attack is a series of combo punches essentially she's going to be punching faster than the human eye can detect but really what it is is a short range teleport that turns into some splash damage at the end of the combo so she can cover a lot of ground. It's pretty disorienting as well. Just imagine you're just in an arena, all of a sudden you see somebody flashing towards you, shooting fireballs out of their fists. And it does quite a bit of damage. As you can see on the footage behind me, she does cover quite a bit of distance with that and she's pretty damn fast. You're gonna have to really keep your head on a swivel when trying to fight her. Um, if you are a Bari type character where you're gonna be kind of pretty much stationary when you're trying to use your attack, say good night that's the main reason that she's a big problem for Bari is her attack speed the distance she covers and the fact that she is a flame user and they are strong against earth type heroes so that's why you hear a lot of people saying Bari is going to be dead when this hero comes out all right that's not necessarily true but we have a couple more things i want to cover about Vishuvac first she is a fire party buffer all right now she does buff the whole team's defense by using her chain skills she will inflict 100 of her dps but she'll also give the whole entire team a defense boost of plus 30%, but fire type heroes will also receive a boost to their attack of 30% as well. So she'll do really well in fire formations with heroes like Eugene and um, Plitvice and those type of people. She will do a very good job of buffing those types of heroes. Now her special ability gives her the ability to do more damage on non-fire heroes, all right? So the non-fire heroes, she is going to naturally do plus 25% damage upon unlocking her special ability through her awakening board, which was we all know is gonna take a while to get to the end of that awakening board, but that ability is there to be unlocked nonetheless. Now, her special exclusive weapon is actually going to give her more of a short range burst. All right, so essentially what it's gonna do is it's gonna add one more splash damage burst to the end of that combo. And essentially it's just gonna give her a lot more damage. It's gonna give her the ability to do more damage 
um, in a shorter period of time. So she's just pretty much gonna become more deadly with that exclusive weapon. So it is a very worthwhile exclusive weapon. My overall impressions of what Vishuvac is going to bring to the game is, I do agree, it's going to really solve the problem of seeing Bari in the arena and instantly getting sweaty. If you have Vishuvac, you have an easy solution. Now, the caveat to this being, if someone is smart in the arena and they want to continue using Bari, they can easily use someone like Marina or other water type heroes in that first row simply because they're going to be strong against Vishuvac and Marina is a very good counter to Vishuvac still. This is according to some KR users, but Vishuvac is not going to change the meta, though she is going to make dealing with Bari a lot more simple, thus making the game a lot more balanced, which is what we all want at the end of the day. So, that is all I have on that. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of this new hero? Are you going to be pulling on Vishuvac? And do you really believe she's going to change the meta? I already told you what my answer is, but I want to hear your answer as well. As always, I'll do this for the Wolfpack. We out.